thank you from the bottom of my heart from being here. I hear most of the students say I'm a morning person, I'm an evening person. Even normal people say that. I wonder why they say that. Because if you want to be a morning person, you'll be a morning person. If you want to be an evening person, you'll be an evening person. It's all in the mind. That's what I believe. Those people who have studied the mind, they say that it starts from the mind. And for a student, every student is a morning person. Every student is an evening person. Because remember you are a young child. And when a child is growing, they yet don't know what is good for them or what works for them. And if you say everything works for you, it's going to work for you. It is starts from where? Here. So that's why today I want to talk about why you as a student, you're supposed to wake up early. When you wake up early, you're going to have more time to study as a student. I know of schools which wake up at 4 a.m. I also know of schools, a normal 24 hours, there's always a student in class. There are those schools and there are many of them. Why do you think most of the students are performing well? Because a student will sleep at around 12 a.m. And by ready 3, they've already woken up. I know of that student. I know of that school. Ask most of those students who performed very well how many hours they slept. I'm not talking of a B student or a C student. I'm talking of an A student. I'm talking of that student who got an A and when they went to the university, they still worked hard and achieved their dreams. Ask them how many hours they slept. I keep on hearing people say, oh, this school, students are taught how to cheat for in exams. They are taught how to do this and that. And I wonder, for a student to cheat or any other person to cheat, first they should have studied. Even if you tell a student to, let, let's say, they go in that examination room with their notes book and the textbook. And you tell them, do the exam. They can check. You'll be shocked. The student will still get the same marks because they, they are not conversant with the exercise book or the notes. or the text Because they don't know where they are supposed to copy from. But a student who reads his notes constantly, they are going to do well in the examinations. Even if you give them a tip, they will get everything right. And cheating is not the right way. That is what I believe and what I know. So if you wake up early as a student, you're going to have a lot of time to study. You'll have a lot of time to cover your work. You hear most of the students say, I usually don't have time for revision. Because teachers are always in class and then in the evening I'm doing my assignment. So when am I supposed to study? This is where waking up early comes in. This is whereby you're supposed to start learning about sacrifice. You're so young. Yes, we are told that you need eight hours of sleep. But there's people who function well with even five hours. And if you sacrifice this time within the week, from Monday to Friday, you wake up at 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. And you sleep at, let's say, 11 to 12, just between there. Over the weekend, during the day when there are no classes and everything, you can nap. You recover the time that you lost when you didn't sleep. It's all in the mind. So wake up early so that you get more time to do what? To revise. Others claim that they don't know how to wake up early. I'll do a video on that so that I can show you the best way you can wake up early even if you don't feel like it. Number two, why a student wakes up early is so that they can exercise. 
Exercise is good for your body as a student. And in most schools, they are already in games. So in games, or in any sports activity, you are required to be very flexible. You have that stamina to be able to stand a 45 minutes game. When are you going to do that practice? You're supposed to do it in the morning when you wake up and also during games time or in the evening. Schools that have good performances in their sports team, they wake up early, they do a run. They wake up early to exercise. If you don't wake up early, you will not get time to exercise because you are required to exercise and you're still required to do what? To do well in your studies. Schools don't allow students to go for sports or to games if you're not performing well, especially most of the girls' school. You first have to perform well in class so that you are allowed to go to, go to sports. This is good or bad? No, that's, a, that's something we'll discuss on some other time. So, for you to be good in academics and good in sports, you first start with academics. So that now the school allows you to go for games. Not the, name, the normal games within the school, so that you can go to compete. That's what I'm talking about. When I was in school, I remember there is a girls' school that used to go play a game. After the game, you see them sitting down and reading their books. And then we used to ask them, why are you doing this? Then they tell us, if from here I go do an exam and I get below a C+, plus, I will not be in the team the next time. And while I'm here, those are the students in school are still doing what? Studying. And after the games days, the two days, we have an examination. So when am I supposed to study? That's why after each game, I continue with my study. Why do you think you also see some students in school buses when they are being ferried home, studying in their buses? You think they are not. It's because they need more time to study and they do not have that time that is the only time that they're free so you see a student on their way back home having a storybook or they have a set book they are trying to to revise or they have a, net, a notebook they have a notebook they are recalling whatever they already studied which is a good method Students also wake up early so that they can be able to get ready before start of lessons. When you wake up early, also you get more personal time. You're able to shower in the morning and get ready. I see most of the time, you wake and then when you wake them up, directly they go to class. Because it's already 5 a.m. And if they don't go to class during that time, there's a repercussion just waiting for them. So if you wake up early, you'll be able to have personal time to do everything that is required of you. If you wake up and shower, you'll be awake in class. You won't feel sleepy. Not everyone wakes up early. There are few students or even none. It's only you and then any other one student or two. No one can come to consult to you during that time or ask you a question. Or when they are trying to study, they figure out that this is something difficult for them and then they want to talk to you. And during that morning, so that you can know there are no distractions, teachers are not around. So they will not come by the class, maybe to teach during that time because you're free. We have those lazy students who like making noise. During that time, they are sleeping. So no distractions. The environment is good for studying and doing your revision comfortably. You know very well there are those students who like wasting their time. And they also want to ensure that they are wasting your time too so that you don't do better than them. Some students might be going around yeah. the classes making announcements. Mind state. What do I mean? 
your mind in the morning is fresh remember you just woke up so your mind is clear you've relaxed well this is the right time to, to grasp everything that you are going to read even if it's something that was a little bit challenging to you you can be able to understand it better during this time if you've not been waking up early please do because this is the best time for you to understand everything that you read it's very peaceful in the morning finally add more points on the comment section below and tell me why students should wake up early kesho